Hey everybody, picking back up with another one of our mini messages, continuing the story of uh, the rape of Dinah and the family of Jacob's response to that. Now, as we looked at yesterday, the men of the city of Shechem have agreed to be circumcised so that they could eventually get all of Jacob and Jacob's family's possessions by intermarrying with them. But two of his sons, Simeon and Levi, had some different ideas. It says, Now it came to pass on the third day when they were in pain that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brothers, so they, these were blood brothers, full brothers, each took his sword and came boldly upon the city and killed all the males. So this is some brutal stuff. You know, just from a medical point of view, Circum the older you are with circumcision, the more you know painful and debilitating that is over the period of time of recovery. You know, there's a reason that God, you know, instituted circumcision and said that it would be done on the eighth day after birth. Uh, that's also the point in time when the baby's um, clotting factors uh, in their blood and their immune system are both at at some higher uh, efficiency. So. God knew exactly what he was doing. It's amazing how biology and uh, God go together. It's really, really fascinating. But with these men, it was a little different. And this was a brutal attack. And it did a couple things here. Number one, it disgraced the covenant of circumcision. Because remember, going back to Abraham, this was a sign of the covenant, of the agreement between Abraham and God that God would give him this land to his descendants eventually, that he would make him a great nation, that the Messiah would come from him, that the whole world will be blessed. And that's what that means when it says there in Genesis chapter 12, the whole world will be blessed. That's speaking about the Messiah. So this was clever. I mean, you can't, you can't say it wasn't a, uh, a, a clever plan. It was a deceptive and awful clever plan. Uh, to get done what they wanted to get done. It was smart, but it was brutal. It was wrong. Uh, it was deceiving all the way around. And here, Simeon and Levi kind of showed themselves to be the sons of Jacob. Remember, Jacob was deceptive. They're deceiving now. And also, you know, this shows that they came from what was a rather bitter and competitive home environment. And they were going to get one up on these guys. And the boldness with which they executed this plan showed the hardness of their hearts. I mean, it says there, they came boldly upon the city. And they wiped out all of the men. And there's even more to this, as we'll look at tomorrow. Come back tomorrow for the rest of this story.